I'm Rachel J, and this is Cultivator Kitchen. And we are making an amazing recipe today. Let's make butternut carrot soup. It's cold, it's snowing, it's dreary outside. This is the perfect soup for the season. It's warming, it's very inexpensive, and quick and easy to make. Here's what you'll need. Here are the ingredients that we're going to use. We have two and a half cups of butternut squash. We have one cup of carrot an entire onion and four cloves of garlic, a fennel bulb, so not the stem, but the bulb so that we don't have the green parts in there, two bay leaves, and lots of spices. We've got black pepper, sea salt, garlic, onion, paprika, and a little bit of nutmeg as well, veggie broth. And for topping, I've reserved some of the fennel fronds, which are really delicious and have an anise-like flavor. Those will be pretty on top. And we'll do a drizzle of vegan yogurt if you want that. It's gonna be really, really quick and really tasty. We're gonna start with the Instant Pot on saute mode and you can put olive oil, water, broth, however you wanna saute first. I've got one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil in there and I am going to add our onion and our garlic. We're gonna let this saute for about two minutes until they're translucent. You don't have to be very careful with how you chop everything for this recipe because we are gonna blend it up. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the fennel in, two bay leaves, and the spices. Give that a quick mix. And then go ahead and turn off your Instant Pot. We're gonna add the rest of our ingredients and set it to cook. With the veggie broth, I am using about three cups, which is most of the box. You wanna make sure it's just covering the veggies, maybe a little bit under. This is going to be a nice thick blended soup. If you put more liquid, that's fine. It'll just be a little thinner, but I think this will work just great. As I mentioned, this is very quick cooking. So we are just gonna put it for five minutes. This smells amazing and everything is nice and soft. I'm gonna take out the bay leaves and then blend everything up. Look how good that looks. Once it's all blended up, it's nice and thick and hot and ready to eat. You can taste it and see if it needs more salt or anything else. We're ready to serve. How beautiful is this? You can also top it with more black cracked pepper just to make it really pretty and swirl in the yogurt and it's ready to serve. This is so warm and comforting. The flavors are amazing and it makes a really nice big amount. I hope that you all love this. Let me know what you think below and I'll see you next time. Enjoy.